Oh, they're right outside the door. Oh, somebody's launching. That's one of those explodey boys. This. Whoa! <laughs> Welcome, everyone, and thank you for joining me in Enshrouded, where last time we got the alchemist tools, the latest, um, I guess they're the laboratory tools. So he's going to tell us that we need to put them somewhere, probably, right? Yep. Instruments for the laboratory. Perfect, my friend. You always rise to the task. If we manage to build a laboratory with the scientific instruments, then we can craft healing items beyond any imagination. Great. So we probably need that to take on our next fight. Because this time, we are going to be going back for the iron. Um, I don't know if we're going to do that right off the bat, but let's go ahead and put these tools... Do we just place them? I imagine. Right? Do we build something with them? Or... Um... I don't think we do. No? I should say. Uh, oh, craft laboratory. Okay, so... Where do we craft the laboratory? It's not here? Ammo? Production place? Oh, alchemy station. Alright. Uh, oh, black cauldron. What? We are stronger together. Where's the black cauldron? Oh. It's in there. We need another black cauldron? No, this is the alchemy station. Craft a laboratory. Well, don't you craft a laboratory? I'm confused. Uh, ah, laboratory. There it is. Glass. How do we make glass? Do we make glass in here with sand? You have... No. How do we make glass? You make glass. Yeah. Where the heck do we get glass? Do we have to actually mine the glass? I figure you make it from sand. Oh, do we do it over here at the blacksmith? That was really bright. It's a problem with running outside. Uh, not there. It would be here, probably. Right, do you make... Aha, glass. Sand and charcoal. We got sand... Somewhere. Where'd I put the sand? Um, I think I actually put it over... Nope. Well, that probably needed to happen any Dang it. Yeah, you gotta spread your stuff out. Um, sand. Yeah, give me that. And I gotta go and rearrange everything, too. So, sand. And give me some glass. Yes. Alright. Cool. Let me put some stuff away and I'll get right back to you. Alright, I got everything figured out for the most part. I put everything away. I did make a new chest, and I'm trying to, yeah, get these stacked a little higher because it makes them easier to get into. Because, yeah, you run up to these, and it just flips right between those two. But if you run up to these, then it's easier if they're separated by just it's just a one block that makes that little platform there. Because you can't do the the big square. But either way, I found out what we needed the wood acid for last time. I was like, I knew we needed wood acid. It's for tin. The tin bars take wood acid, charcoal, and tin ore. So we got those going. Got everything put away. As you can see, my inventory is pretty empty. I put another one of the light. I took the light off of here. There was one in the middle, and I put that because it's really dark at night over here with these guys. So I gave them another lamp over on the, the table saw. It's not a good spot for one in real life, but I didn't want to build another table, so that's what they get for now. And I could do a bunch of farming, but I've got this storage issue right now, so I don't want to go pick those. Because I want to pick these ones up, and that's why I want to make another one of these, but I need bronze to make another one. So that's why we're cooking tin to make some bronze. And so right now, we're going to head off and try and get some of our flame altars picked up. Because I would like to have a spare one, because we're going to be spending some time over in this neck of the woods. And the closest ones I've got are here, here, and here. This one I kind of want to keep for the time being, because we did that little tower... And it's kind of a cool spot, like on top of the lake of the Shroud. But, yeah, which ones can we pick up? This one we probably need to leave, because... Or do we? We need to go back to Surat's Rest for any reason? I guess we can get there from here easy enough. I don't think we need to go to Surat's Rest. We can probably pick the, this one up. Or else we can go from the Spire if need be. But I want to get at least two picked up. So, where is the Spire? Surat's Rest? Okay, now I remember what Surat's Rest was. Yeah, I, I kind of thought that was it, but let me just check if we can see the uh, spire from here. Can't see it from here. I'm probably, yeah, I'm pointing the complete wrong direction. It's to my left. 
over that way. Okay, I don't think this was the furthest journey. So we'll pick this one up. Yeah, we don't need you anymore. And then which other one should we get? I'm thinking probably this one. I don't remember what that one was for. We've got this one. It's pretty close to all these question marks. You know, let's see what this one was. I don't even remember what that one was there for. And then I'm probably going to... Yeah, the sun's going down, if you couldn't tell. So I'm going to probably sleep through the night. Oh, this was just on our um, adventuring through the desert. That's what it was. Is it became nighttime over here. And I didn't want to... Whoa. Okay. That, that was interesting. But... Yep, yeah, that's just a little... What is that? Is it just a rock? Uh, it's... Yeah. Just not textured all the way. Okay, so we don't need this one either. That'll be two. And then... Probably head home. But before... Well, yeah, I'll head home. But we are going to be doing... The loom for the hunter or the beehive. I think I'd like to get the beehive if possible. Yeah, where is that on the map? Is that... That's Sun Temple. Where's the beehive? Obelisk? Question mark? Southern Caravan? Unknown. Guessing it's this one? Just not wanting to tell me? It says question mark. Yeah. Yeah, so if we set that one... No, oh, it is this one. Okay. And that's the Sun Temple. So then the other one, the loom for the hunter... Oh, we don't know. Hunter needs a loom. Yeah, we gotta go to Cottage and East Lapis. Alright, so yeah, it's definitely gonna be that one that we head to first. Is that we need to learn more stuff and then we'll go do the iron. Yeah, we gotta do that. Oh yeah, that's what I was forgetting to do. Okay. Let's head back home. Because I did get the glass. Totally forgot what the heck I was doing. Just trying to get things figured out. And yep, yeah, it's basically already nighttime. So what were yeah, you build me the laboratory. That's a little brighter in here. Not, but we need one in that corner. Because that corner is pretty good. We could probably move that over. But I'm not worried about it right now. You. You, buddy. Build me the thingabobber laboratory. What are we missing now? Fired brick. Oh, I put those. Dang it. I got plenty of fired bricks, but I put them in a non-magic chest. I put them over here. Because they are building material. This is my building materials chest, if you couldn't tell. We will put you in our new one. There. That should be enough. I didn't even see how many we needed. Okay. Now build it for me. Smarmy bastard. What do we Oh, Athenor. What the heck is Athenor? Oh. Did we not get that? Dang it. Alright then. So. Scientific instruments. We need instruments to be brought back. Alright, we'll set that one active. Um, so did we not, not know where that is? Ooh. That's the Sun Temple. It's in there, isn't it? We were over there. Excavation camp. It's in the Sun Temple. I'll bet you anything. Alright. Because it's not telling us. Yeah, scientific instruments were retrieved. It must be brought back to the alchemist and crafted into a laboratory to unlock more recipes. Because if we go to the Sun Temple, now we get that. But, oh. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. The Athen Athenor? Definitely, I don't, it's kind of hard to correct somebody's pronunciation in text, but... Oh, and we don't have enough fired bricks, so we do have to make some more of those, too. But the Athenor, we did not get. Did I just miss it? I may have just missed it, and it was over there. All right, well, let's go take a sleep real quick. And then we'll head over in that direction. I'll probably run over and check. we got to find a good place for our flame altar over there anyway. We'll go check back where we found the other tools, and I'll see you when we get back over there. All right, I was a moron. I had to look it up because I didn't want to go all that way back to... Yeah, the Athenor is here. He makes it. So we just need bronze bars. So I just want to see if... Because I should have 10 bronze bars. 
right? You were cooking. Oh no, we were cooking tin. Dang it. All right then. Well, at least we don't have to go do the Sun Temple. So I guess we'll wait for this to cook up some tin for us. How many more can we even make? It takes a little while. Well, four minutes, and it's three. Oh, tin ore we're out of. But it is working, so it's got three minutes left on there. All right, let me find. Is that going to be how many bronze bars do we get? It takes seven and three to make ten. So we don't need that much tin, so we should be able to get quite a bit of bronze out of what we managed to make here, because that's going to be seventeen. So effectively, what, that's fifteen, because we're going to be too short. We got copper there, copper there. We need to go get some more tin. I found the tin before, and now I totally forget where it was. I'm going to have to look it up again. I think we'll get more, some more tin. Although I don't know if we should even bother. Well, we do need it for the storage. Unless we get iron storage after we get the iron going. Probably we do. Um, Alright. So, yeah, let me just putter around here. I can probably do something for a few minutes, and I'll get right back to you. Alright, so we can get the bronze going. And then I noticed that we were getting low on clay. Because we need clay to make bricks, and we need it to make the Athanor as well. Athanor, Athanor, I don't know, whichever way you want to say it. So, in the meantime, we will head off and do the um, mission we've got. Myth of Giants. I don't know about that. This one. Brittle bush. What? Are we not set? Oh, uh, yeah. Beehive. That's the one. That's what we know where it is. Okay. So, the fastest way to get there... Probably... Let's go from here so we can clear out that black stuff. That seems like a good idea to me. Clearing the map is always good. Right? Yeah. It's a little bit far, but at least we get to glide most of the way. That's a bonus. Is this the right side? Yeah, to go from... Where is it? Yeah, it's just straight that way. Well, we're not going to be able to get over there. Yeah, we're going to get to, like, here. Maybe. Oh well, it's through those canyons and stuff anyway. So give me some water. And we'll save the food for the time being, because we're a little low on food. We've done this before, haven't we? Oh, we want to be up. So we want to actually... Can we get on top of that thing? No, we'll have to go up the hill again. What is that? Is that a, a flame thing? No, that's a tent. I was hoping I could get on top of this, but... No such luck. We're going to have to go up the little slopey bit over here. Yeah, right there. We'll just pass this red rock up on top of here. Some buka, but they don't bother me anymore. Can I get up here? Looks like I can get up here. Yeah. Where there's grass, we can stand. Oh, I've been up here before. These guys always get trapped. Oh wait, you do you have feathers? Let's check. Do you have feathers? Oh, he's gonna fall. Oh no he's not. No he's not. Oh, he healed. Healing's not fair. All right. He almost killed us, though. Oh, they do have feathers and chicken meat and bones. They have everything we want. Wool. All right, well, now I'm going to eat some food. Because, yeah, now we need it. All right, we were heading up. Upwards and onwards. Oh, man. You would do that to me, wouldn't you? Now i got to mine it. All right. Yep, just a little step. I don't know what we use sandstone for yet, if anything. Let me know in the comments if you know what sandstone is good for. I mean, other than building blocks. I know you can make building blocks out of pretty much everything. Alright, this is the way to go, looks like. At least it was just a one-step jump. But man, yeah, it feels hot going through these places. It's just that, like, scorching noise and the, like, kind of mistiness, I guess. It's like that, that mistiness you get when you go somewhere really hot. Yeah, sorry, I'm just grabbing some twigs. Just 
we need twigs, and these things are really good for twigs. So that's all they give you. They don't give you any of the, um, the plant fiber. A bunch of sulfur in that rock right there. That'd be a pain to get to, though. Okay, so I think we want to... Wait. We want to go down that way, but probably stay up here if we can. Looks like there's a way through. Yes. Through is the way. Oh, there's a much easier way to get up here over here. Is this anything? No. Yeah, it is. That's a cave. What's in this cave? Is it VUCA? Kind of like a VUCA place. Very dark. Whoa! It's not a VUCA place. It's a critter place. Is there anything here of worth? Well, it's locked. Locked stuff usually has good things in it. All right? And what's this? Cleaned? Yeah, we'll take the clean. Oh, we'll take the iron arrows, yeah. And Celeste that we have to make ourselves. What is this? Oh, iron ore. All right. Iron pickaxe. Okay. All sorts of iron stuff. Is this an iron mine, then? In the lapis lazuli. Or lazuli, however you want to take, say it. Take... Yeah, we don't need the torch, though. I got plenty of torches back at the camp. Eh, get off. Well, now I kind of want to see if there is iron to mine down in here. Quest completed. Hearts of iron. Oh. Okay. So it doesn't matter what iron you get. Wait a minute. So now we don't have to go all the way down there? Where the heck was that? That was... Right here. Yeah, Ridgeback Mine. Well, I mean, we're going to need more iron. But this place is really dark. So we need to make some more flare arrows for sure. I did make some more fossilized bone arrows. But I wanted to see... I mean, there was some iron here, but is there iron in the... This looks like... this iron? Let me check. Sulfur. Ooh. I don't want a sulfur mine. So we're going to have to go to, back to that mine because there's no way one iron is going to be enough. Ow. Oh, there's just those little guys. Oh, and somebody commented. I forget your name right now. Sorry. I forgot to shout you out, but you can blow up the critter piles. Or I guess chop them with an axe. What is that? Fossilized bone. Yeah, we'll take some of that. Why not? Yeah, we'll just take all that. But yeah, like, that's not a critter mound, but the ones that have, like, the holes in them that are more round, they can be blown up. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, probably most of you knew that. I didn't know that, though, and then the critters don't come out. So I'm going to try and do that gleaming staff. That's fancy. So if we go further down, is there going to be iron, or is it just going to be more sulfur. It looks to like this is just a sulfur mine. Can we blow up these things? Yeah, nice. Yeah, it looks like just sulfur in here. Although it goes pretty deep. Maybe if we keep heading deeper. A little bit more iron ore. I'm guessing that the iron is going to be in the shroud, right? Like, wherever you find it. That kind of seems like something that would be a thing to me. What? Who's attacking? Somebody's attacking. Is this? This is shroud. You're attacking. And you got some friends. Oh, crap. And the, the explodey ones. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? And that was a terrible shot. Alright, here, have this. Oh, come on. Totally missed. I got him. Boo. I guess this would be better to use on the exploded guys. Because it's like heat seeking. Did I explode that one? Is it just one explodey guy? 
I don't know. I'm getting this way, though. Whoa. That was glitchy. Oh, we are down in the shroud now. Whoa. Hey. No, you don't come sneaking up on me with your explosiveness. Hey, get you back here. Get blown up. There you go. Alright, now it's safe-ish. So, let me see where the heck we are at. What is this? Southern Caravan. I suppose we should go grab that. We are actually kind of where we need to be. Thing. Is this on the way? Yeah, it is. Alright, cool. Yeah, I know there's a bunch of critter parts. Oh, now we're out of the shroud, too. That's awesome. So, we got a couple iron for that. This camp over here. Oh, this is probably the Southern Caravan camp. Right? Is this... No, this isn't where... It looks kind of like where we were for the last episode, but it's not. Nobody's home. Yep. Alright. You guys have any iron for me? That would be pretty awesome. All we've got right now is two. I don't think two is going to be enough to do much with that. Nails. Nails are not what I wanted. Ah, something to read. Emily Frey's Diary, Entry 3. Salvation. The people of East Lapis have gathered survivors for a caravan, led by Queen Jasmina herself. When I heard her speech, saw the wind in her hair, I knew I'd follow. With the flame of devotion and courage, a light shines brightly towards new beginnings. The queen is a marvel. Determined and enduring, radiant, beautiful, I aspire to be like her. To inspire people and lift them like she does. It pains me to leave my, my tavern, but as long as my heart beats, I'll build, I'll grow, and hold on. Especially with my queen bravely leading the way. Emily Frey. Okay, that's... Oh, there's more stuff to read over there, it looks like. But there's... Ah, a chest. Um, Iron arrows? Yeah. I don't know why I pushed the wrong button there, but I did. Oh, sleep. Mm hmm. Nope, nothing here. Campfire. What's this? Grilled spiced yucca. Dearest Jasmina, everything was perfect last night. I'm beyond excited to know that you enjoyed my cooking, and since you requested the recipe, I figured I would leave it here before uh, tending to the cavern's caravan's many hungry mouths. I don't know why I said cavern. Reading too fast. <laughs> See if you can guess the secret ingredient. Yep, the queen's grilled yucca. One yucca. Uh, yep, all that oil, salt, pepper, lemon juice, honey, try it. diced peppers. Aha, there's some peppers. Remove the seeds and slice the yucca into one inch slices. Yeah, coat it. The ingredients taste. Don't be shy. More is better. Roast on an open flame until tender. While roasting, use a pan to toast the seeds and gourd until they are golden brown. Serve hot with love. Okay. And some honey. I'll definitely take some honey. Oh, and some yucca fruit. That's the one I haven't found yet. Oh, just lean meat. Not bird meat. Bird meat's the good meat. And nothing. It's the only chest. It's just that one little one. Nope, there's another little one. Anything good? Uh, what's this? Fire Wisp. Experience scroll. Oh, good. We'll take an experience scroll. Oh, that also reminds me. Right here, the experience scroll. Use that. What are you? Sandstone. We don't need... We need some regular stone. I should have brought some, because there isn't much regular stone in the desert best way to find it is if you find a rock just sitting by itself. Like, these are all sandstone rocks. That is lapis lazuli. Lazuli, right? Let me just check. I'm pretty sure it is. It's in the shade, though, so it's not as blue. Or is this iron? No. <laughs> I was gonna say. Don't think that's iron. But this is the way we need to go for the thingabobber we're doing. Is that interesting. Oh, it's just got blown over with rocks and sand. Riddle bush. Okay. Anybody home? No scavenger dudes or anything? Alright. What's in here? Rats? No rats. Not right away, at least. I guess even the rats don't want to live. Oh, they're in the basement. Of course they're in the basement. Where else would the rats be? <laughs> totally didn't even see that one. I just go in swinging. That's the way I do it. Alright. Now we'll use this to get a little bit more light. Just a bunch of books. Keep the books in the basement. That's what she should do. Yeah, a lot of old books. 
do need some books so I can build me a library when I find a good place to have a more permanent base. Alright, that's enough. Mm, what's in you? I don't know why I need to scroll all the way that way. Wood logs. That's useless. Alright, and there's another door. Any rats in here? No. Bunch of nothing. Okay. So, what are we even looking for? I don't even remember what exactly she asked us to get. It is Beehive Smoker. Okay. Gonna be in this build. Whoa. This building, isn't it? Maybe? Aha. You can chop you down. Nope. Nobody home? Nobody's home? Anybody downstairs? Well, this is main floor. Not downstairs, precisely, because we came in through the second floor. Ah, more rats in that basement, probably. A little bit of light. No? Ooh, double basement. Ew? Oh, triple basement. Dang. Basement just goes and goes, huh? Creepy. This is the creepy murder basement. I guess when you're in the desert, you want a deep basement. That. That is something, isn't it? It wouldn't glow like that if it wasn't something. Yep, there we go. You are... What are you? I don't know why it does that on the lockpicking ones. Tarred bow. That's what we have already. I don't, that might be better than ours, though. Now it's dark. Oh, crap. That one. Oh, no, cut. Yeah, deep old basement. Oh, we could probably get some stone out of this place if we need to. These stairs are stone. We could bust them up. Whoa. Hello, buddy. You just came out of... Oh, man, I wasn't quick enough. God, how quick they are. There we go. Oh man, they are quick. It's gotta be quicker than them. There we go. Alright, just barely. This guy was tougher. I thought this place was empty. It was not empty. Just that first part was. Oh, there's another one right there. Is it just filled with these guys? I suck. I hate them. And we do need more water. So... I need to get some more recipes going, too. I wonder if using the two-handed weapon on them, because they're fast. Maybe slow weapons would be good against them. Location below. Of course, we probably have to take out everybody in the friggin' town, like usual. I'm gonna take them out from up here, if I can. Where were you at? Totally forgot where he was. New quest, Emily Frey's Tavern. Ah, there he is. Hey, buddy. Are you gonna hold still for me? Probably not. You're gonna stand right underneath me, so there's no way for me to hit you with an arrow. What if I go right here? No, he's off somewhere. Alrighty. Well, go down in this way. I don't know if that's the smartest thing to do. But, that's what I did. Some metal scraps. Chop it down a door. I don't know if using their weapon against them is the best idea. Their weapons are not the best. That's why I use it. To just get rid of regular old dudes. Get some water. Location is reached, so it's nearby. He's going to be right out that door, isn't he? Some stairs. Mm -hmm. More metal scraps. Nothing here. Bunch of cloth we don't need. No beehive. Or beehive smoker, whatever it is. There's a book to read. Yeah, they need to fix that an animation. It like pops open, I guess, 
desert city wall. So that's a new crafting thing. Free lockpick. Always good. What do you say? Emily Frey's Diary Entry 1. The earth becomes drier by the day. It crumbles betwixt my fingers into sand. I wipe beads of sweat from my forehead. Pale, sorrowful droplets stain the field. I doubt they'll find their way into the depths of, to feed the crops. I pray silently, for my lips are too dry to speak. But I muster a smile when I serve the little I have. I built this tavern with my own hands, therefore I cannot rest, nor leave. I will work this uh, soil until the end, as my ancestors did before me. Emily Frey. Alrighty. That name sounds familiar. What was that noise? Oh, they're right outside the door. Oh, somebody's launching. That's one of those explodey boys. This... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> That's not what you want to find right when you open a door. <laughs> oh, is he going to blow through the door? How does he know where I am? That's not fair. Can I get back up somewhere? Where did I come down? I was hoping there was a basement here. It doesn't look like there is a basement. If we go out this level, then it's those green guys. Yeah, but there is no basement. Yeah, I would really like to take them out with arrows if I could, please. Yeah, there's no way to get out, is there? Alright then. Where'd you go? Come on. No? You're not gonna do it, are you? Where'd he go? Aha! There he is. Come on, you gotta come over this way. Yeah, I don't want to get explodified. Alright, it's not going to work, so... Just blow it up, so... Oh. Ah! Dang it. Nope. Oh, you and your friend, though. Well, we'll just do this, and at least take them out. Then we can go down on the ground floor, maybe. Man, they are so resistant to freaking arrows. Ow! Well, now he's got a bead on me. Where are you at? Can I get you through the window? No. And they're probably... Oh, no, they're still there. Come on, let me get at least just one of them. I do not want two of them on me. There we go. We get dude boy over here. Where did he go? He's over there somewhere. Aha! There we go. That's the way back up on the roof. There's the explodey guy. Whoa. Where are you at? He's somewhere over here. Man. I'm not a fan of those explosive dudes. Especially when I can't... Oh, there he is. like right down in the corner there. And I don't think their explosions hurt them. Yeah, because that's right on top of him. Alright, so if we go over here... Then... Now he's gone. He keeps moving around. There he is. Oh, just die. That got him, didn't it? Yeah, sweet. Okay. There's something down there. I think that's just something to read, though. There's something over here. Oh, there's a bad guy right there. Yeah, just kite them back this way. This way should be safe-ish. And get him. Get him! Alright. Is it getting dark already? It is, isn't it? What is that? Raw sand digger meat. Oh, that's those things with the, yeah, the shovel nose. Well, it's kind of looking like we might want to go take a nap. That is a lot of dudes. Although, it's pretty well lit here, although our rested bonus is gone. 
is not something I'm a big fan of. Although, I do want to get the use out of our meat. So can we just get you at least? If all the green guys are gone, it'd be much easier to come back. And yeah, of course you're going to run underneath this stuff. He's just directly on the building there, so... Ah, there he is. Here he comes. All right. We're going to fight him. Come on, one-on-one. -on -one. Let's go. You and me. Oh, just a little too fast. I think they kind of slow down a little bit. Okay. I didn't even take any damage on that guy. I'm getting better. Oh, and we got one of his... Acid Cleaver. Oh, that's why they do so much freaking damage to you. Okay, do I have any stone? I don't think I do. Limestone. That's all we got. We got no regular stone. Where can we get some regular stone? Maybe right here? This looks like regular stone. Yeah, this button. Because I would like to build a flame altar around here. Oh yeah, the walls take forever, don't they? You better be regular stone. I'm gonna be pissed if you're not. You better give me five for this piece. Gave me... None. Of course. That figures. Alright, so... Where are we gonna get some stone? There's gotta be some in this city. Somewhere. I don't want to have to come back here. Oh, like the long way. Yeah, there's nothing in here. It's gonna be stone. Hmm, and this is all just rubble. That doesn't do us any good. That's sandstone. Come on. I knew I should have brought some regular stone with me. It's just so freaking dark. Alright, screw it. We're gonna spend the night here, because I don't want to spend all the night searching through the friggin' desert. Oh, I'm out of stamina. We can just sleep in here, because this place was relatively safe, I think. From what I remember. Yeah. Not downstairs, though. That's creepy basement. Oh, wait. That's... Yeah. That's some stuff we need. Can we sleep on your bed? We can't just kick that dude out. Oh, we can sleep in this one. Okay. So I do, actually. Do I still... No, of course I don't. I stopped carrying the freaking um, stuff with me. Yeah, the flame altar we can't, but the campfire we can. Yeah, the campfires. I stopped carrying those with me. So, campfire. Go right there. That'll do. And then we can sleep in this bed. Yeah. Why are you not lighting? There we go. Okay. More metal scraps. So yeah, I will sleep through the night and see you guys in the morning. We are super rested, so I need to learn how to build one of these freaking beds for sure. That is nuts. Now our only issue is that we could really repair our weapons. That would be nice. But we don't need to get rested by any means. So, oh, I don't need that. I need water. There we go. All right. And I think we killed all the green guys. So now the only real worry is the explodey boys. And any green guys that I missed. Weren't there? Yeah, there's a wolf right over here. Thought there was somebody else wandering around down here, though. No? Um, let's take the... Oh, no, we do need that. I forgot. Okay, location's above now. Okay, it's right in that building. You are that dude that we got. Where's the other one we killed? Oh no, we got the other one because we killed him hand to hand. No honey. No honey root beer. What? I thought I heard something. Okay, maybe not. No honey root beer. No glazed and grilled yucca or summer spice tea until my beehive smoker and honey... Whoa! I did hear something. I knew it. Alright, that's a, a bad angle, obviously. 
Don't sneak up on somebody when they're trying to read stuff. That's rude. Oh, I thought it was only a two-hit combo. All right, anybody else? Hello? No? Can I read this now without being snuck up on from behind? That would be nice. Okay. Yeah, uh... Yucca or summer tea until my beehive smoker and honeycomb arrive from East Lapis. Until then, creamy tomato soup, stuffed bell peppers, and this week only, draconian vulture wing fillet. Served with sour cream and potato wedges. Get it while it's hot, Emily Frey. So she was getting pissed that they weren't giving her the stuff she wanted. So is the smoker here? There's some water here. That's good. Is this the place we were? This is the place we were, isn't it? Oh, so we had to read that and then... Yeah, it's not here. It's over here, of course. And the Sun Temple's there. So is there anything else here? Feels like a place that should have a chest. Some kind. Oh, what's that up there? This... Oh, is this the Sun Temple? That's the Sun Temple. Okay. Yep. There's those guys. So I really think I would like to find an area to put a oh, put a thing, a flame altar. Nope. You and your stupid arrows go away. That's the Sun Temple. That's where we need to go. I'm not ready to do that yet. I know I'm probably making a bigger deal out of it than it needs to be, but feels like a big deal to me. So, we got Shroud down there, we got more bad guys everywhere. So yeah, I think I'm going to run back to the beginning of this place, see if I can find... Oh, who's that? So, sounds like a explodey dude. No, maybe not. Do you have any stone up here for me? No. No, they wouldn't. Mm. Oh, it's all shroud filled too. Lovely. Oh, they said that, didn't they? That it was like overtaken by the shroud. Okay. So yeah, I want to find a place for a flame altar. I need to find some stone. Oh, there's a chest right there. Oh uh, yeah. More explosives is always good stuff. Can we get up here? Oh man. Well, if we get up on here. There we go, that works. But yeah, a flame altar around this location would be good. So I'm going to look for some stones. Should be able to find somewhere. And then I'll probably just meet you guys back here after I drop some stuff off. Back at the, uh, the base place, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Alright, so useful little tidbit. Um, for when you're in the desert. So there's these kind of rocks, those are stone, and then these things, you can actually bust these things up, little road markers, and they will give you stone also. So that's interesting. I didn't know that, but I kind of figured that they would. Um, yeah, see, regular stone. Cool. And then this will give us enough stone, and we'll be able to make our flame altar. So I had to come over here, just a little bit down. We were... Yeah, up over here in that area. But right there wouldn't be a bad spot if we can get up there. Ancient obelisk, obelisk excavation site. Yeah, that's up on top there. Can we get up there? That would be... Because where would that be in relation to our other... We've got this one here, but this is the one I was talking about. Yeah, that's the one for the mine. Yeah, it's really pretty close. But if it's higher, because the mine... Yeah, it's up on that one. Maybe it's that one, the other home base. So this would be pretty close in height. Now, I'm going to grab this. So I'm going to search around, and I'll get back to you probably when I find a place for our flame altar. All right, so I found that archway we were in, uh, or we were on top of in the last episode. Uh, you can't really tell from here, but yeah, this is that archway. So I think we're going to put our base up here. Just trying to think where would be the best spot for it. That's very smoky. I think that's where we need to go. Um, no, we need to go a little further that way. Where are we on the map? No, that's pretty much where we need to go. Oh, that's the Sun Temple. 
Oh yeah, it is a little further that way. But I think I'm gonna put my flame altar here for the time being. Or do we want to go a little closer? And yeah, maybe even over there where we were. Where we got the alchemist stuff over there. I don't like the desert. It's really hot. No, it's not really hot, but it feels hot. <laughs> and it doesn't feel like an archway when you're on top of it. So you don't get the same... There are eggs, though. This is one of the only places to get eggs, that I, at least that I've found. Alright, so yeah, let me just grab a few more twigs while we're here. And then we can build our flame altar, which is a pain in the butt in the desert. Although there is... Yeah, that, I believe, is a regular rock. Maybe. Right about here seems good. So, we can craft that up. Yep, give me one of them. That here. And then throw you down. I don't know, right there is fine. Sure. Okay. And then we're going to head home. And I am going to try and figure out if I can make a cool bed. Because, yeah, that bed that we found over there was... Pretty awesome compared to my bed back home. My bed sucks. <laughs> so I'm going to do a little bit more just home stuff, get stuff put away, see if I can make a new bed, and I'll get back to you. All right, I think I got everything pretty much done, and I did figure out we can make the better bed. Palmwood bed, is that the best one? Comfort five, comfort six. Yeah, that's going to be the best one. But we need straw and fabric which we have some of, but I don't remember where I got it. I think I just got it out of random things that I broke and stuff. Uh, can we make another one? No, we can't make another one of these. Oh, iron bars. I thought we needed bronze. Oh, no, this is the one we can make. Okay. This is an even bigger one. Huge chest. But we can make one of these. Then we can make one of these. And that Watch will me. balance off the one we just put in. And then we can hopefully raise those up as well. Um... I'm going to jump up here. Or should I... Oh, i got to grab my hammer. And the rough stone? Yeah, I think it's the rough stone. Let me just throw this in here real quick. Oh, yeah, and uh, we got this from that green guy. That's 44. This is 43. That one has way better durability. So I think we're going to swap these two. We're going to keep this one around. But, yeah, it's way better. Can we fit it in here? Nope. There we go. Yeah, we can. Okay, perfect. Alright, and then it's hammer time real quick. And there. Tab. Yeah, I'm already on the blocks. This will help me to put it where it's supposed to go. And we'll go ahead and finish this little cross bit off. Yeah. That. What? Oh, I'm too close or something. Yeah, this is how I built this whole thing. It's not the best way to do it, but it does work. Yeah. You need a better building mode. Like a more flying around and not being actually part of it. Okay. Cool. And then this can go here. And you. Yeah, I can go like that. Something about there. Right? Is that? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, and then we just gotta raise those ones up, but we gotta empty everything out. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna put all this stuff away, because I'm not gonna need that anyway. That's there. And I think we're all set. Yeah, I got quite a few arrows. I dropped off the iron arrows, because we don't have enough, really, right now for carrying that around. Craft a laboratory. That's what we're doing. We need glass. You were cooking glass. And we got the glass. What were we in need of? Oh, iron. No, that was for the other thing. What were we in need of? <laughs> Forgot what we were up to. Uh, you. Can you craft it yet? Did we get you all the stuff that you need? Yeah, Athenor. That's what we needed. Oh, we can do that. But then... The laboratory. We need glass for that also. And fired brick. That's what we needed. We needed more... Um, play. Yes. So. Um, this will put in here. 
path anymore. We don't need to be carrying you around. Yeah, see, I got a little bit of straw, but I don't remember where. So we got to find out where that came from. And then you are currently cooking bronze up, so I'm probably going to leave you doing that. So how much more can we even make just this one bit? Uh, I don't know if we... I think we lose it, don't we? If we switch? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to risk it with bronze because I don't have enough bronze to be risking stuff like that. So, yeah, I still don't want to pick all this stuff up until I get all my storage better situated. Oh, yeah, that really sucks. I almost want to go... I wish we could steal that bed out of there, but it didn't say we could pick it up. So, yeah, I don't think that's going to work. But we need clay, which is all over the desert, actually. And then... What are our quests we're on right now? The loom and the beehive. Yeah, the bee. Why did it go back to this one? I don't know. Oh, probably because we made the piece for it. So, yeah, we want the beehive. And then the sun temple will probably have to be next time, because I don't want to be getting to that right now. We want to get the beehive if we can. But it's looking like it's going to be a bit longer than I'd originally thought it was going to be. So we'll at least do this next piece, which is over here. Mm, 477. How far is that? So it's past that ridge, which is like that thing there. Looks like it might be down in the shroud, so I think I'm going to head to that bridge-looking thing. We need some water on us, though. Can we grab some food? I'm going to hold off on the food. We're going to go with the acid blade bunch of stuff down there. Sort of scavenger looking camp. I wonder, they probably don't have iron though. Yeah, it looks like we can fly over that bridge. That's a kind of cool little area. The little holes. Can we get to there? No, I don't think we can quite get to there, but it looks like we can get up there easily enough from over on this side. Oh, and we can't... Is that a... No, that wasn't a chest. It was like a table or something. Alright. Some more sulfur. Definitely know where to get sulfur if I need it. And you guys, you guys don't bother me. Uh, we'll grab some more twigs. Although at this point, it's more feathers that's limiting me. That's lapis lazuli. That's all over the place too in here. The iron though, that's what we need. That's down where there's a nasty girl guarding it. Or nasty flying creature. I don't know if it's a girl or not. Either way, it's not a fun critter. Hey guys. Yep. Dokare, or whatever it is. Look what you get. And get you. Man, that would suck to get stabbed by that thing. Oh, I thought I parried him. Did you just die? Thank you. Alright, and your friend. Yeah, that's what you get. And to die. No, thank you. Just go away. Location reached. Is this it? Is this the location? Five meters. I mean, I would assume so. That just looks like, yeah, sandstone and stupid cloth. And then bags of stuff. Some lock picks. It says we're here, but I don't see anything. Am I missing something? Maybe missing something. That's entirely possible. 23 meters. Yeah, this is it. Did this? No. Alright, I'm definitely missing something. There's something right over here. Aha! What are you? You have honey on you. Lots of honey. Hey, give me that honey. Okay, I'm confused. What's this arrow? Iron arrow. Not bad. Okay, on the road. Oh, defeat the Vuka honey thief. Interesting. 
Alright, so I guess there was stuff we learned that I was not aware of. Those guys, I think, are the next good meat source, which is good, because they're a lot slower than the chickens. So we gotta kill a VUCA, but the VUCAs are our friends. It's gonna be one of the big guys, isn't it? The whatever they are, brawlers or something. What are you? You look new. Are you iron? Um, it's gone, whatever it is. No, it's copper. Alright, I don't need copper right now. I know much better places to get copper. I should probably have recognized it, but it looked different out here in the desert. What is this? Is this anything? No. We're just fighting a VUCA dude. Probably handle that. Man, this is a long run though. Gotta be in here, right? Lots of VUCA. Eh, we'll go ahead and put some food on. Yeah, probably a good idea. We're gonna be fighting a VUCA. And if we piss one off, we're gonna piss them all off. Ooh, that is a lot of them too. Hey guys, don't, don't mind me. Yeah, they're like trying to attack me, kinda. But they can't, because I got the skill that says they're not allowed to. Got anything over here for me? What is that? I wonder what that thing is. It's like a little feather wand or something almost. I don't know. Okay, well, we're just heading this way. Keep an eye out for traps though. I know we passed one as we walked in here. I'm mostly reminding myself, obviously you guys can't do much about it. But it is good to keep that in mind, that the VUCA like to lay traps. Looking like it's up here. If I don't have to fight the whole lot of them, that'll be nice. It's getting dark. I did have to save and reload during the last... Well, not save and reload. It's actually the next day from the last part I was recording. Not that that matters a whole lot to you. Station above. Okay. So is it that? Because those guys, the big guys, they definitely don't like us. Ah, it is that guy. He is the thief. I thought as much. So then, if we start fighting you, do they... Yeah, they don't appreciate it. Man, these guys are tougher. Get him. Get him. Alright. That's him. Whoa. Ow. That hurt a lot. A lot more than I was hoping it would. Yep. Run away. Run away. Uh, where is he? right there. Yeah. Ooh. Nope, I don't like it. Yeah, I definitely don't like it. I just want to get those guys out of the way at least first, so I'm not fighting all them. Hope those guys don't come over. Yeah, I really don't want to fight the whole group. Oh man, I wanted to get him in the back. Why is he not taking any any damage at all? That is not a good sign. Ow. That's not a good sign either. Crap. We're gonna have to drag him all over this freaking place, aren't we? Um, I really want to get this going too. Let's get this. I think this may do better damage. Did it? Can't tell. No. Ow. Okay, I may have not been repaired for this at all. Oh. Can I get above him somewhere he can't get me? Ooh.
Yeah, this might be my only freaking chance. He can jump, though. So I don't know how well this is going to work. And it doesn't show that he's taking any damage. Which is not a good thing. Yeah, I knew he could jump. <laughs> so like, he's going to get up here one way or another eventually, isn't he? I mean, he is taking damage, just very freaking slowly. Oh, I hit the wrong freaking button. And heal. Well, it does seem to confuse him a little bit to be up here. And it confuses me too. Well, now he's like totally confused. Where is your, like, health bar for one? But also, where's your weak point? I'm guessing it's his head and his back, obviously, but he doesn't turn his back for very long. She just, it's just a freaking hit point sponge not a fan of the hit point sponges. They go through all my freaking arrows. How many arrows do I have? Yeah, I just want to see. He is taking damage. Okay, yep. It's getting to be nighttime. All right, let's run back over here for a minute and back up here. Whoa, can't see. Oh, crap. I'm out of stamina. He's right there. Crap. No, it's too dark. Oh, man, I did not want to do this in the dark. Crap. Yeah, where the heck is he? Ow! Oh, I was out of stamina. That's why I couldn't roll. Alright. Um, give me a flare arrow over here. That'll help. Alright. Yeah, that's better. Okay. There, now I can see his health bar. That helps. Look at that tiny little sliver it takes off each time. It's going to use up like the last hundred of my freaking arrows to get this guy down. But luckily once he's down, we won't have to fight anybody else unless this guy is not the thief. I don't know who else would be the thief though. Let's use this. That way we won't use up all of our arrows. It's a little more effective it seems like. Fire rate's just a little faster, mostly, I think. It does seem to be doing slightly better damage, though. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Man. That was not fun. All right. And, oh, he did have it. Sweet. All right. And there's this chest over here. Anything else around? Wooden tooth. That's actually pretty good. Okay. And we got these two guys. And this. And then... Oh, we can probably just destroy you, but destroying the body doesn't do anything. At least not from my, what I could tell with the dragon thing that we got. Alright, is there any other reason to be here? Imagine... Probably more chests and things around various places. Whoa! Ow. I can't see. I can't see anything. That's not fair at all. Okay, so they are all pissed off at us now. Yeah, I can't see. I can't fight when I can't see. That's not fair. Come on. 
Yeah, these guys take a lot more damage than the Bakukas I've been fighting for a while now. Ow. Oh, come on. Shield. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run. I don't want to fight those guys, so I'm getting the heck out of here. What about you guys? Are you guys friends? Um... Slightly. Yes. Those guys are coming, though, so... <laughs> let's just get on out of here to where we can fly away, or fast travel away. That was a trap. Because I'm running out of health potions. Yeah. Whoops. Wrong button. Yeah, let's just go home. Before they get on top of me. Because I need to... Eh, I need to sleep and I can't see a dang thing. I'm not good enough at fighting to fight in the dark. That is for sure. <laughs> Somebody said hey while I was loading in, but I probably cut it out. Oh, it was her. Alright. Well, I do think that's actually going to end this episode. Because it's probably been longer than I would want it to be. It's hard to judge, especially when I split it over a couple days. So, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. As always, I thank you all so much for watching, and hope to catch you next time. Bye!